Yesterday we looked at small schools in Nebraska and what they're doing to give their students the best education possible while ensuring the school stays in town. In part two, we look at schools that are rapidly growing. As 3 News Now reporter John Kipper tells us, growth has caused them to continue to expand and add to their budgets. At Gretna High School, this is the scene between class periods. Students shoulder to shoulder in hallways, just trying to get to their next class, with more and more students expecting to come to class in the future. In the next five to ten years, we probably will double in size. Gretna Public Schools currently sits at over 6,000 students, around 1,500 more students than they had five years ago. So it's just been non-stop change and growth. It's not tough to see why, with new houses and lots constantly for sale and quickly sold in the district. To address that growth, busy hallways, and what's expected in the future, they've been building. Adding a second middle school, several elementary schools, expanding Gretna High School, and building a second high school. Superintendent Dr. Rich Barron says for every new school, thousands, maybe millions of small decisions go along with it. Still want to keep that culture of Gretna, whether you're a griffin or a dragon, the culture remains the same. So that's our biggest challenge. Up north in Bennington, Superintendent Terry Hawk has seen his district go from a small Class C2 school to a district that is now high Class B and rapidly growing. Hawk has similar identity challenges as Gretna. That's the difficulty. Bringing new people on and making sure that they have the same culture and values that your community is known for. Now, Bennington currently sits at around 3,800 students, and they project in the next two years, they'll be at around 4,500 students. And at the end of the decade, over 6,000 students. Now, that's roughly the size of Kearney and Westside Public Schools. To show how quickly it's growing, look at Anchor Point Elementary. Built in 2019, it already has more students than capacity. And a new elementary school and middle school will open in 2023. We're kind of an odd bird in the fact that we're building buildings every two to three years. This ballooning student population has its financial challenges. As the more buildings you construct, the less efficient they become. You can't cut a secretary in half, okay? You can't cut a principal, your food service, your cleaning service. You've got a new building to open up, so you've got to pay for new electricity, new gas, water, all the utilities. Now, both schools right now are about as efficient as you can get. Both schools charge residents about as high property taxes as possible, and they get millions of dollars from the state. But when you look at the numbers, Bennington and Gretna rank number one and two respectively in cost per student. So there's efficiency in the size of a school. As both school leaders consider decisions that will likely affect the children of the students in class right now, Barron says the decision-making process is about one question. When it comes right down to, that's the core of the decision. What is really best for children? In Gretna and Bennington, John Kipper, 3 News Now. School leaders also say finding quality teachers for new schools has been a challenge, but benefit from the larger pool of candidates in the Omaha metro area.